of Creative Commons in a specific jurisdiction. This is mostly, is mostly done for a specific language or languages depending on the specific uh, conditions and situations of every jurisdiction. The University of Cyprus has been appointed by the Creative Commons uh, as uh, the Creative Commons affiliate in Cyprus for implementing, translating, disseminated and hosting the Creative Commons licenses in Cyprus for the Greek language. Uh, our team it works on a volunteer basis and is composed by academics, by law students. Uh, our law students will do the main presentation. Uh, by external partners, uh, we will like to build a network of valuable partners in this uh, very important project. And um, uh, we would like also to invite you to help us to make this reality. I will now give the floor to Mrs. Athanasiou and Mrs. Zagaraki, who are law students at the law department of the University of Cyprus. And um, they have prepared a very informative, maybe maybe more legal or complex, but we tried to give some examples, overview of what Creative Commons is from a legal point of view, where it stands for, and what uh, uh, main legal issues are included in the process of disseminating a work via Creative Commons. Thank you, Professor Sinodinu. Um, my name is Georgina Thanasiu, and we will have um, an overview of the Creative Commons licenses. Creative Commons is a non-profit organization um, created in the United States in 2002. It provides the means for the authors in order to help them grant copyright permissions over their work. Before we continue, we should clarify that the word author, which will be used in our presentation, covers all types of creations. By saying author, we mean the initial creator. So, there are six main types of licenses. The attribution by, which means that you have to mention the creator when the material is used and shared. The second one is the attribution share alike one, which requires that adaptations of the material be released under the same or similar circumstances. Attribution non-derivatives, which prohibits adaptation of the material. The fourth one is the attribution non-commercial, which prohibits the commercial use of the material. The fifth one is the attribution non-commercial share alike. The last license is the attribution non-commercial non-derivatives, which is the most restrictive one. Besides the six main types of licenses, Creative Commons also offers a way to release material into the public domain through the Creative Commons Zero Public Domain Licenses, a legal tool for waiving as many rights as legally possible. The licenses exist in three formats. Readable by machines, the common deed, which is readable by humans, and the legal code, which is readable by lawyers. Only the common deed, uh, excuse me, only the legal code is binding and not the commons deed. So a non-lawyer has to be very careful because they might be mislead by the more general and simplified terms of the commons deed in comparison to the more detailed clauses of the legal code. We must emphasize that the Creative Commons licenses are not an alternative to copyright, but work alongside copyright. It provides the means for the authors to make a passage from the system of all rights reserved to some rights reserved one. 
Creative Commons licenses are drafted to be internationally enforceable. The licenses were first brought to court in 2006 in Holland in the case of Curry against Odax. In this way, Creative Commons were used for the first time as a cause of action and found justiciable. From 2006 until now, no court has declared the Creative Commons licenses unenforceable. Another question which arises is whether the Creative Commons licenses should only be translated or have to be ported to each jurisdiction in order uh, to comply with the relevant national rules and principles of intellectual property law. Particular attention should be given to the terminology of national law, having in mind that some concepts may have a different content or scope in each jurisdiction. One of the Creative Commons goals is ensuring that all of its legal tools work globally so that anyone, anywhere in the world, can share their work on globally standard terms. Earlier versions of the licenses, most of the times, had to be integrated uh, in national jurisdictions in order to be enforceable. This latest version, the version four of the licenses, though has been drafted with particular attention to the needs of international enforceability. And therefore, they should only be translated. Cyprus will have the version four of the licenses translated. The Creative Commons affiliate consists of over 100 affiliates working in 79 jurisdictions to promote and support Creative Commons activities around the world. At the moment, more than 50 jurisdictions ported the international licenses.